So in today's severe risk, we have a slight risk for parts of Arkansas here, all the way from northeastern Arkansas into western, southwestern Arkansas here. And that is not going to be for tornadoes today due to us only have, only going to be having around 30 to 25 knots of shear. But that will be enough for some isolated supercells, in my opinion. And as you can see, we do have a slight risk for wind and a marginal risk for hail. Well, except for southern and western Arkansas here, they have a slight risk for hail. But up here in northern Arkansas, northeastern Arkansas, we have a marginal risk. We also have a lot of cape sitting at around 4,000 joules per kilogram. This will be more than enough for dangerous storms today. As you can see, this is our shear. And up to the north, we have some good shear, 50s, 40s to 55. That's some pretty good shear. But down here, we're only going to get up to possibly maybe 35 knots, but it's probably going to stay in the 20 to 30 knot range. But when you have a lot of cape like we do today, anywhere from, I say, 25 to 30 knots, you could get an isolated supercell. So today's storm chase started off with two blobs, one very large multi-cell cluster and another smaller storm that had formed to the north. These blobs would undergo some serious organization and would even begin rotating. I then observed some mamatis under the anvil. This is a sign of a strong storm. The storms would then merge and they began to look very favorable on radar. Then the storm would approach. This would give me some of the best supercell footage I've gotten so far this whole year. That was, if not the best supercell footage I've gotten so far this year. It was extremely photogenic. But this is KB Weather, out.